Hello, and welcome to the Of Myths and Men podcast, the only podcast that celebrates St. Ignatius' feast day on July 31st. I am your host, who's going to be eaten on St. Ignatius' feast day, Adam Holgum, and I'm joined today by co-host, who probably will also eat on that day, Dylan Blumenberg. I'm on a diet, so I'm just going to bring some, some vegan pizza, actually. You do you. Thanks. And we are happy to have special guest who probably won't eat on St. Ignatius Feast Day, Valia. I only murder on uh, St. Ignatius Feast Day. I don't actually eat the <laughs> the people I murder. You will be murdered? Such a or waste you will be of murdering. meat. Oh, I'll definitely be murdering. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not it's a waste them, of meat. Yeah, you know, some days you gotta just live it up. You can't just always, you can't just always eat it. Fair enough. Eat yeah. their meat. Our podcast brings together three unknowledgeable individuals who spend a day pretending to be experts on mythology. Each week, we will discuss a different god or creature, rotating out the lead mythologist. We will discuss its habits, its attitudes, we will tell a tale, and we will end on a debate on who would win in a mythological fight club. And today's lead mythologist will be Valia. Can you tell us a bit about the god or creature we will be talking about today? I can tell you everything know about this creature and this creature is going to be all right talk about Yu-Gi-Oh in the last episode <laughs> so you remember the uh harpy lady the character Mai she was her main character her main card yes no great I'm glad Dylan remembers it perfectly <laughs> well today we're going to be talking about the harpy all right Shit. who here knows what a harpy is it's like a little shut the bird. hell up I'm going to tell oh. you what you need to know I'm about raising my hand Put, Put your, your hand, hand down. down. It's okay. not time for questions. Yeah. This isn't a classroom. I have a question. No. So, harpies are depicted Wait till in afterwards. many ways. Okay, many ways. So, some of them, there are two common ones. The main, the main one is going to be where it's a half kind of female, half bird lady. So, like the face of a female, the torso of a female, usually their, their boobies are out. <laughs> you know what I'm are saying? they really? Wow. Uh, yeah. If you, That's a little scandalous. If you know what I'm saying. Um but yeah, like they have claws and wings and stuff of of a of a bird, like a really really strong eagle type of bird. And then the other depiction of a harpy is a transforming creature. So it's a like a super attractive lady. And then they can transform into a demonic bird type of thing. Any questions? Um, no time for questions. What's so, the boat scale for these attractive women? <laughs> what's the boat scale? Yeah, you know, from the last week's episode. Oh, can they push a boat with their beauty? <laughs> yeah, can they push a boat? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to push a boat, a physical object. Yeah. Well, I don't know, perceived. man. You know, yeah. they're like boats. They've been on boats. Would you say? Would you go as far as saying boats and hose? I would. I would say they've been hose on boats. I would say Holy so. Holy cow, Adam! <laughs> they're, Did you draw like, that yourself? <laughs> they're perfect tens, basically. All right. Well, if they, check out if this, if this one, Adam. If it's the transformation, <laughs> I gotta check this out. Wow, don't that is put, pretty ridiculous. Don't, don't all right. Put that in the, <laughs> That's not going in the, the show notes. notes. That's a little. <laughs> a little too much. So I'm going to kind of <laughs> differentiate between both, but we'll pick one in the end for like the fight. So, okay. So their main goal, either form or either variant, really is to torture humans. They don't really kill. Pretty rare that they'll kill something, but, you know, in a pinch. A little murder. Who doesn't, who doesn't, couldn't use a little bit of murder. Am I right? Oh, are these like bird sized or female sized? These are like. They're when they're in the human form, they're standard human size. But when they're like the hybrid version, they're pretty big. So like, like think of like what a condor is to a normal bird. It's yeah, pretty, fucking pretty fucking huge. Big. Like it's like that to a human. Like they're pretty big. All right. Yeah. Not thick. Like they're lean. You know. Would you call them thoughts? I'd call them thoughts. <laughs> Are they on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. So, as I explained, hybrids, birds with head and torso of a woman, um, 
So like for those, the hybrids, if you want to picture like D Reynolds from always sunny, just like a bitch of a bird, <laughs> you know, that's, it's kind of what you get basically. So, and then in the, in the alternating form, like super attractive, like I said, like think Hillary Clinton, you know, and then you can also transform into a de- demon type of creature, which is pretty ugly and fucked up, you know, picture like a bird. To think about Hillary Clinton. I'm gonna huh? Ask. I try not to think about Hillary Clinton. She's very oh, so attractive. So you said perfect 10. Uh, yeah. She couldn't push a single boat, I'll tell you what. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen HC, those dresses, those business suits? <laughs> not flattering. Uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, Bill Clinton would never cheat on her, so that shows how much you know. Anyway, so <laughs> for the birds, though, like when they turn into a demon type of creature, picture like, you know, a bird, but then an artist's depiction in a horror game, that sort of bird, like very demonic, pretty nasty, pretty much Hillary, Hillary Clinton at that stage. <laughs> sounds awful. <laughs> Do they fall asleep randomly? That sounds dude? horrifying. Like strokes or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fall asleep randomly. A terrible human being. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not clicking on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the name Harpy, <laughs> it means snatcher or swift robber. So Swift robber? Yeah. Hmm. Swift robber. Two words. What that means. Multiple syllables, multiple letters. <laughs> really? Yeah. Multiple letters. Huh? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when do we get into this crazy territory? This is grammar class. This is of grammar and men. The worst podcast on the internet. It's got five listeners. That's pretty scary, actually. <laughs> this new one Adam sent, that's a scary one. You can I'm put not that clicking in the notes. It. Not it's clicking. scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, they, what they like to do, oh, they're kind of fucked up. The harpy, they steal food from their victims, um, like, right before they're about to eat it. So, a person's about to touch their food, or they do touch their food, and a harpy will swoop in and just take it. As like a trap? Uh, it's not a trap. It's almost like a fuck you. Like, you're about to eat, you're starving. <laughs> It's going to just, as soon as you touch that food, you're like, I can't wait. It takes that food away. What a dick. Yeah. <laughs> so they also they also kind of serve as Zeus and Erinese. So they kidnap people for them at, at, at times. So specifically for Erinese, like, I don't know if that's a male or a female god, but the harpies would send these kidnapped people to Erinese as, as servants. So it was a pretty typical slave situation. No big deal. Get over it, liberals. Am I right? Ugh. Classic. Hold anyway. on a second. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry if you already mentioned this, but can there be male harpies? Or is it only female? Only female. All right. Yeah. How do they How does that work? Uh, Are they like frogs in Jurassic Park? They're, they're uh, did, I don't want to go into the reproductive rights of, uh, no, of harpies do. because it's very please political. Do. I don't want to get political on this podcast. No, we got really into... Uh, into harpy genitalia and reproductive organs. I think we can go in. Or not harpy. Siren. I don't want to so get, I think we can get, get political. Yeah, let's go into it. It's not political on this podcast. It's like, you know, I don't want to start this, pod, this podcast goes outside the bounds of politics. I don't, yeah. I don't know. You know these, <laughs> these harpies are very much in their circle, but they're asexual. So oh, okay. Well, they can they're not reproduce. female then. They're female. You're gonna call it it for the rest of the episode. You ever seen? That's a, probably not. You ever seen Hillary right. Clinton? <laughs> That's a woman right there. W O. Are you sure? M A. Because N. I'm that. I think. <laughs> Boy, really I think you and I have very different tastes in women, Valia. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Like, what, what's your what's your top end? Lady? It's a full-bodied, horse-faced woman right there. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I like to see. <laughs> We're doing horse face women in episode 100. So keep Sarah a look out Jessica, on that. Sarah Sarah Jessica Parker. They're the distant cousin of the dog headed and the headless men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's really all I have of it in terms of information on, on the harpies. So they're basically, yeah, they kidnap people for your knees and Zeus sometimes. They steal food. They can be either a hybrid form bird type creature or they can transform or they can be a human that's super hot that can also transform into a demon bird type creature 
Nice. What are their weaknesses? Just bird we'll get to that later before the fight. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> the weaknesses are like bird feeders. <laughs> <laughs> Men who are trying to oppress their gender. Yeah. <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah. Abortion. Bird clinics. bath conversations. Um, Jeez. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Story time. Mythology was created through an early form of storytelling, so we like to spend a little bit of time delving into a tale that involves our subject. We will be a little bit more in-depth with analyzation to better understand the story, and each week you'll be able to have a tale to bring home to tell your birds and whatever other pets you have that aren't birds, because cop birds out. are tops. You're going to tell what? your women? It's a cop out. Or your you women. only have one thing to name. Or your Hillary, Hillary Clintons. <laughs> Hillary <laughs> Clintons. <laughs> that Hillary, she's being very... <laughs> Being very Hillary. Today. You could you could have more than one Hillary. Did <laughs> she used to be attractive? <laughs> this is this is gonna I end up know. really bad. <laughs> We're hitting so much on HC right now. Yeah. We can Hillary Rotterdam Clinton. Rotterdam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So right. s- story time. So Phineas. So he's the king of king of Thrace. Do you guys know who Phineas is? Brother of Ferb. He's the brother of Ferb. He's the king of Thrace. So Phineas, his holiness Phineas, he was granted the gift of foresight by Zeus. <laughs> Ever heard of him? So he had glasses? Nope. He could he could see the number four way clearer than others. Oh nice. No, like four, the Fantastic Four? He could see the history, Fantastic then... Four. He had a good version. He's the only one who's ever seen a good version of the Fantastic Four. Man, lucky yeah. guy. Yeah. Is that like Alba was still a version of it? <laughs> yep. You ever I... watched the, the, what was it, 1996 unreleased oh, edition man. of Fantastic Four? That was so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I've not I seen think... this. It was so I think bad. the entire budget was spent on the thing's costume, and it just looks like cut out styrofoam glued onto him. <laughs> Do you remember what Tobias looked like in season four of Arrested Development? Oh yeah, that I remember. <laughs> season yeah. five. <laughs> yeah, it was like worse than that. <laughs> and they kept getting served for uh, using the using the rights. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is not that. So shut the hell up about the Fantastic <laughs> Four. Don't mention it again. Right. So Phineas was granted the gift of foresight. Fantastic Four. Z- oh my god. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. I swear to God. I'll delete this recording right oh now. My <laughs> Jesus. So Phineas, he's got the gift of foresight. So you can kind of see into the future, right? Zeus gave him this power. So um he made a promise not to abuse this power, to kind of just use it for general things. And guess what he does? He abuses, he abuses, it. He abuses the power. Oh, you guys guessed oh that? Oh my god. How Is that I what know? you guys said? Or? No, yeah, I, I, I have foresight as well. I said he used responsibly for the rest of his oh. days. Oh, jeez. Well, that, that, all right, yeah, Is you that guessed wrong? right then. No, oh, he, wow. he abused it. He gave So he gave um, Brixus. I don't know how to pronounce that, Ooh. but it's P-H-R-I-X-U-S. So he gives Brixus directions on an, an information about an upcoming journey of his. A pretty harrowing journey. Zeus, being just the kind, gentle fella he is, he takes away his eyesight. He blinds him. Sure. Classic punishment sense. crime scenario, right? He abuses power. Sounds like a eyesight. Greek god. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, we know we know Hermes was cool, so kind of makes sense. Um, his dad's way cooler. So basically, he took away his eyesight, and then what he also does is he banishes he banishes um, Phineas to it's called to an island, right? There's many rocks there, many snakes there, but Jeez. primarily he, he vanishes him to this yeah. island and he kind of ties him up in this area. And what he does every day is he puts this like really amazing meal in front of Phineas, okay? And every time Phineas is starving, he touches this meal, a ton of harpies swoop in and take it every day. They keep doing this and he's just, he, he's torturing this dude basically, right? So... <laughs> He's he's torturing this dude. I don't know why I'm laughing at this, but 
just damn <laughs> I was terrible. just wondering that too. Day after day, this is my kind of prank. <laughs> day after day, you would keep <laughs> doing this. Um, so, <laughs> and the harpies would keep snatching the food in front of him, and they would also like they would eat the food in front of Phineas, right? So they would kind what of take of- the food, swoop back, and eat it. What type of food are we talking here? Like pretty run of the mill. Like you'd have pasta, you know. You'd have a bit of a little bit of grapes? Uh, gabagool, grapes you there? know. Gabagool. Yeah. You'd have a bit of gabagool, some <laughs> capicol, you know. <laughs> a bit of mozzarella, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Typical All Italian. Any pizza? No pizza. Pizza. <laughs> no pizza. <laughs> pizza. No Just pizza. gabagool. <laughs> so. Okay, so, yeah, birds are laughing, you know, they're making a fool out of Phineas eating this food in front of him. He still can't see, but he's still, he's starving, basically, right? So, Jason and the Argonauts, they hear word of this, right? Great so, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jason is like, all right, Argonauts, listen up, boys. We got to go get our man Finn, right? Finn's stuck. We got to go help this mofo out. So they go to the island, right? They set up a little trap. So they set food in front of Phineas. He goes to touch it, and the harpies take it. And J-Bone and the Argonauts, right? They basically go after the the harpies at that point because they, they're in sight and everything. They're eating the food. And they straight up slaughter all these harpies. And they free Phineas. And, uh, you know, Mofo's still blind. So, uh, yeah, harpies are dead. Boom, shake what? the room. J Bone and the Argonauts. Are dead. Yeah, all of them died. So this fight's gonna be pretty hate, uneventful, huh? I hate stories with sad endings. <sighs> I mean, I'd say, I'd say J Bone got his due. He, you know, get a lot of killing. It's cool. Why didn't Why didn't they just yell, "Hey, it wasn't mad at you, huh?" <laughs> at some point, <laughs> hit the harpies. Like, that would have been fine. You just kept asking what they're eating. Sorry, bro. I didn't realize I was being a dick. <laughs> That's all they would have had to do. Is call them out on their bullshit. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Where did all the rocks and snakes come from on the island? Good question. <laughs> so, so let me tell you a little story, all right? They came from the fucking ground. The snakes There's did? Ground. The snakes did? Yeah. Well, where did the ground come from? God? Yep. Wrong answer. Believe in him? Loser? Which one? The yeah, one. Good question, Adam. The one. <laughs> Jesus' dad. God? But Jesus. Oh, man. Here we go. But as My... far as we know from episode two, I think it was, you don't know what Christianity is, Folia. I know what Jesus was, though. In fairness, a little actual factual information. Jesus is mentioned like a lot in, in the Quran, for example, the, the Muslim holy book. Mm-hmm. So. People do know How who he so? is, even if they have never heard of Christianity, which no one has ever not heard of Christianity. Fair. How is he mentioned? Huh? Like, they're <laughs> just hanging out with him or something? Is he mentioned by a different name? Like We're in the uh, Religion and Men podcast. He's <laughs> he's still Jesus. He's just translated to a different language, obviously, so it's not exactly Jesus. But, yeah, he's a prophet. Like Jay Hizzle? Jay Hizzle, that's what they call him. Or Jay Bone. what? Hmm? Prophet of what? Uh, probably of your, I think, face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say he's in that, that band. Which band? That band, Prophets of Rage, you know? With Zach Del Roca and... I think you're thinking of 30 Seconds Jesus. to Mars. Tom Morello. I'm pretty sure it's not... <laughs> pretty sure that's 30 Seconds to Mars. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's too busy making movies mm. to be in his band anymore. I think... I think you're thought you're you're talking about Inception right now, so let's let's forget that. So anyway, that's no, no, the story. No, Joseph of the Gordon Harpies. Levitt isn't in any. He's not in any bands. Yeah, yeah, I think you're thinking I, of uh, of Nickelback right now. So you're you're way I off. I played D and D with Joseph right. Gordon Levitt once. What? Yeah. I played D and D with Joseph Gordon Levitt once. What and that was the was character's he? name. Oh, okay. Not the player's name. Who, whose character was that? <laughs> Some fucking oh, yeah. idiot. <laughs> that stupid name. <laughs> was Sharpie there? 
Was it Kyle Sharpie that was bucks. getting all pissed? That I yes. picked like human names <laughs> for these things. That you just kept naming all your characters after actors? <laughs> Jeff. Was it Jeff Bridges? Jeff Bridges, I think, oh, was yeah, one. That's hilarious. <laughs> Man. Who was your last one? Was that Jeff Bridges? I thought it was... Oh, it was Keanu Reeves. Oh, that's right. <laughs> if I pick another one, it's got to be... What's his name? The dude from... Uh... Oh, I can't believe I'm blanking on his name. The dude from The League and he was in Jurassic Park. Played Malcolm. And he was in like every Wes Anderson movie ever made. The person's name or the character's name in the lead? What? The How actor's could, name? John LeJoy? How could this person have been in all of those things? You know? What are you even talking about? <laughs> the tall dude <laughs> with the glasses. Are There's you like trying West to Anderson figure out the movie. name? Or yeah. are we just going to sit here and wait? You can cut all of this until I figure out what it is. You know who I'm talking about, Volley, for sure. You've seen Wes Anderson movies. Yeah, and there are more than one character in each but of his in, movies. Like every single one. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Jesus. Yeah, he's Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> That's going to be my next. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. That's who you couldn't figure my out. Yeah. Dude, he was so good in The Life Aquatic. That movie is hilarious. That is a good movie. Let's Let's move on to Fight Club. Feel free to cut a lot of that. <laughs> Good to go to Fight Club? Yes. Right. Maybe I won't have to. We're actually zipping through this one. I mean, That's what I'm right. saying. I want to p- keep it tight for this one. All right. Let's Precise. I really tight. have to take a piss also. Tight. One of the things people love to debate about is tight. who would win in a fight? Jeff Goldblum or Jeff Bridges? Or 30 <sighs> Seconds to Jeff Mars. Bridges, to be honest. 30 Seconds to Mars or Prophets of Rage? Dude, Prophets of Rage. Same thing. Angry old men. <laughs> Same band. So, so in our Fight Club section, we indulge ourselves and talk about who would win in a mythological fight to the death. We will pit this week's subject against one discussed in an earlier podcast with our lead mythologist defending the creature. And he gets the choice to challenge either myself or Dylan. Volume. So before I challenge, I just want to lay out strengths and weaknesses real quick. The version of Oh, that I'm going to use of the harpy is going to be the one that that transforms. So in human form, right? The the harpy she can touch a victim and it falls under her control. Okay, so they can make him do anything. The thing is, the spell dries off, like it runs away if if she goes away from it for a long period of time. But if she's she's near it, the spell stays on and she can control the victim. They can also make a human being specifically fall asleep with like a wave of their hand. Uh, it doesn't really work on supernatural beings, so every creature except like the leprechaun. <laughs> and then headless in, man, probably. Yeah, that's true. They're technically supernatural, but in demon form, they can uh, they can fly really fast, speeds of 114 miles per hour, according to uh, University of uh, Ponix that I went what? to. University oh, of pa- Ponix. You ever far quicker than a siren? Yeah, pretty what quick. About- Hold on, is a hellhound affected by this thing? Because that's kind of supernatural. By the sleep thing? What? You, yeah. What? No, it's I don't supernatural. Know. What are you talking about? Okay. I was saying in the demon in its demon form, when it transforms into its demon bird form, it can fly really fast. Pay attention, guy. <laughs> but you were saying it doesn't affect leprechauns for what? For the, the the sleep wave hand thing. Oh, okay. They can make humans fall asleep. God, Leprechaun's so really the only like humanoid. Man, well, you're freaking Dick. slowing things you're down, trying to keep it tight, like, trying to keep it tight, keeping things tight, and you're just you're just ruining it, ruining my moment. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> this is my moment, dude. God, Guys, man. calm down. You, better you know this is going to be on the View. God. Anyway, no, that was the last episode where we <laughs> were very rude about women. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> So in their demon form, they can also emit like a really high pitched noise that just fucks up anyone within distance to hear it. Like in, for human beings, it just destroys your eardrums and basically it can nearly kill them. For supernatural creatures, it just it can destroy the eardrums and just be genuinely painful as hell. So they're really really strong in this form, like probably the level of a striga, and are uh, they're immune to 
to human objects. So like a like a baseball bat, for example, in the demon form, if you hit it with that, it's not really going to do much. They they're able to also create and control fire in the demon form, like really high blasts of fire, and they can do that. Weaknesses. So in the human form, pretty much they're human. They're weak to anything a human is. Swords, knives, guns, poop, you know, poop. disease, what have you. 30 seconds to Mars. Listen to their music. To yeah. So it's Jared Leto. He's very attractive. Who isn't weak to him? Dude, the kill gets me every time. <laughs> Classic song. So, and in demon form, they're pretty much just strong as fuck. Take like what can, a human can handle. You can multiply that by like twenty. And that's that's its demon form in terms of weakness. No like real specific objects are weak. It's just you know, strong creature. So there's no way to like force this thing to turn into a human, is there? No, it's it's all by choice. Well, woman's right to choose, man. You can't, you can't force things on them like you want. Free will is a uh, is fake. <laughs> so what do you think about that? How does that affect that? I think you're a chump. That's what I think. Yeah. You... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do I have to pick who I fight against? Yes. Who would you like to challenge? All right. I'm gonna challenge Adam. Wait. Who who did I challenge last time? Who did I fight last time? Me. Was it you? I'll challenge Dylan. All right. Good. Very scientific choice. So I have to pick something? No, I picked for you. How does this you. work? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How many episodes have you been <laughs> 11, on? 11. 12. <laughs> this episode 13, we did one without you. What? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell him. Adam. It was supposed to be a surprise when it came out. It's a good oh. episode, too. The best? We had spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yeah. It's a sp- we had some spaghetti. Some mozzarella, you know? <laughs> I just Russian pretended to be you, but with a really funny voice. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Dylan. <laughs> we just played 30 seconds to Mars for 30 minutes. You sound like, what's his name? That, <laughs> that comedian who sounds like a lesbian. <laughs> what's his fucking... <laughs> what? God, I am bad with names tonight. It's a funny, dude. Duncan Trussell. Oh, <laughs> Duncan right, Dylan. Trussell. All right, Dylan. I'm giving you your creatures. Give me that creature. You're gonna have a hellhound. What? Oh, and upon the back of the hellhound rides no. Medusa. What? Wow, that's all right. What if I say, "Look at me"? <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> like the hellhound's Go. strong, though, right? I thought yeah, that hellhound's pretty strong. The harpy ha- is incredibly fast. That's true. He can fly. Fun. Yeah, hey, he'll I'm be gonna... fine against one on one. But let's see how it's two on one. The way and, I like uh, it, if you know what I'm saying. The God. setting is the Grand Canyon. <laughs> the whole thing, or just the specific the whole spot? Thing. Well, this, the entire Grand this Canyon. This isn't that thing I, can fly. I, I don't I'm... know. The Grand Canyon well enough to name a single spot, but a large it's, open swath of the Grand Canyon. You know, that one part. That one <laughs> part. Oh, I know which part. Where, where it's very canyon-like mm. to a scale that some would call grand. Whoa. You know what caused that, right? God. God. Did you start watching Isle of Dogs six minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd notice that because I remember you saying you get an alert every time someone starts watching it. I just saw the notification so, yeah. on my phone, yeah. So far, good six minutes. <laughs> okay. Not just actually. watching it mid podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty bad setting, I gotta be honest. It's a real disadvantage. I mean, you're still strong as fuck and you can but you fiery can fly. footprints. Dude. I'll but you toast. control fire. That's true. As a demon. Hey, let's use this pause as an opportunity for me to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Because I, I got to be honest. I got to piss so bad, I'm not going to be able to focus on anything. All right. <laughs> Except so Isle of pick. Dogs? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stream it real quick. All right, so what point were we at? Sorry for the interruption. We were in you the Grand have... Canyon. 
Yeah, we're in the Grand Canyon. You have a hellhound being ridden by Medusa. He has a harpy. Medusa's now, riding g- 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 go. the hellhound? Yes. What's Medusa the Medusa cannot dismount. <laughs> Wait, I can't dismount? Medusa cannot dismount the hellhound. Can the hellhound dismount her? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? No. Well, they I'm have to sit. It. If I'm they... If they come off of each other, then they are connected by a thin cord that will instantly kill them. What type of cord snapped. are we talking? Is it like a rope or enough semantics? Let's well, get hold on, this. one more semantic. Does does the um, what's it called? The harpy know about Medusa's powers? The whole see you thing, look at yes. you thing. Okay, so. I'll kick off if that's all right. Kick it. All right. So, Harpy finds a soccer ball. No. A soccer ball? Flies. Well, that was a kickoff joke, man. Oh, Jesus. Get it right. Fucking nice what are you doing? Uh, uh, fucking soccer. Europeans, yeah. that was a, you can't, you even, you can't live jokes. without them. You can't live I with them. I get it. God, I you guys have ever played athletics before? I played Only soccer Only basketball, before. and we talked about it in Hermes' episode. That's true. You I hit that half court yeah, yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> anyway, so are we like near each other? It's a large opening, so there will be a good yeah, chunk of space said. between you. Some could say it could take up to three minutes for full flight to reach each other. You got quite a distance. Okay, so I swoop up into the air, right, and kind of get a scope of where the Hellhound and Medusa, the Deuce. Medusa R. <laughs> First Elduza. last name. <laughs> yeah, El Duce. <laughs> so, like, uh, and I fly as fast as I can just to kind of see where they are. So I'm still out of range of them, but just see where they are. And I hide behind like a crater cliff type of area that they're gonna come by, right? And gotcha. as I do that, I d- I also turn into a human and I'm hiding behind this cliff thing. Waiting for them to come past me. So I know this human form of this harpy is a human form of this harpy, right? It's not, you know it's not a the tourist. Other, you, <laughs> yeah, you know it's not a tourist. You know that, like, you should probably kill anything you see. All right. This thing comes around the corner with death in its eyes and death on its breath. <laughs> <laughs> and it attacks her right away. How do you know I was there, though? Because it's, I'm looking for you. <laughs> you know? So hiding obviously doesn't work because he's looking for you. Yeah, I mean it's got a dog's nose, right? You smell like a bird. Mm. Put two and two together. It's a good point. Get the harpy's hiding behind rocks. It's a good point. I mean, Medusa honestly, looks though. down and goes, "I made these rocks. I know these rocks. <laughs> Pretty much. How those rocks get there?" <laughs> so, okay, so disregard the, like, fly down idea, because, yeah, you're right, it's a dog, so he can kind of scope me out. All right, I fly in, in demon form, because my goal was to change it to human form and touch one of them to control them. So I swoop in, right, as as a uh, as a demon. Pretty much those three minutes just fly directly at, at the mofo, and with my long-ass claws just swipe at either of them just that whoever i can hit in the hopes of hitting them that's what it sounds all like all right i guess <laughs> do i hit roll initiative <laughs> do you think do you think the uh the hellhound medusa combo would have a quick enough I think time? if this thing is flying at it for three minutes, like screeching at the top of its lungs, <laughs> you'd probably be like, "All right, let's get ready." How fast I haven't done can the it screeching? Go? Like I, I just ninety-seven miles an hour or something. One hundred fourteen miles an hour, but I wasn't screeching. It was just swooping in at you. No screeching. Shit. Yet. Shit. <laughs> but I'm like scanning the skies, right? Because I'm looking for this thing. I got it. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't catch know what it you're doing with my dog vision and my <laughs> like, twenty twenty vision from all these snakes. <laughs> The snake vision. Okay. And, uh, With snake vision? Yeah. You got all sorts of vision on this this combo. It does have basically 360 degrees of vision. 
That's true. true. And snakes like birds. Snakes can't see well, though. You know what they say about snakes? Birds like snakes. (laughs) You know what they say about snakes? (laughs) What? That a roadrunner can kill a rattlesnake. Can you believe that shit? That was a (laughs) roadrunner. What does that have to do with anything? (laughs) Roadrunners are badass. That's what it has to do with. (laughs) So the (laughs) roadrunner. No, I think. I think I gotta see this thing coming. If it's flying for three minutes, like <laughs> you'd notice this thing in the Grand Canyon. It's a great wide open, as uh, what's his name, Steve Miller used to say. No, it's not wide open. This. There's like cliffs on, and troughs and stuff. It's Wait, super what are you rocky. Flying from inside I will. the Grand Canyon. You flying up? Yeah, I had to go up. Yeah, <laughs> you're in the Grand Canyon. That's not that big. It wouldn't take you three minutes to fly out of there. <laughs> no. So, can I grab, like, as I'm flying towards them, can I grab, because, like I said, birds, snakes, not a good combo, Grab tug at Medusa's hair, grab one of the snakes, grab the snakes. Dude, and you're just... going to get bitten so many times if you're going for this hair. But he's biting, so like, my times. clawy hands that are super strong and reinforced. Like, I don't you're give a fuck. You're going to get bit a lot. Like, Dude, let, him bite. Just, let him bite. You got, like, you got, like, 24 snakes on this thing's head. Yeah. You can't grab all of them. You're going to get bit. No, you, you grabs one, but I'm saying there isn't a part that snakes can reach that does any impact. Like, they're biting at the, at, at its legs almost, which are pretty much yeah, reinforced gonna... by that, like, thick-ass skin. It's where still the claws skin, are. Though, right? Adam, what say you skin-wise? <laughs> skin to skin. What's your, what are your thoughts? Are bird claws made of skin because they're like i'll agree with you on that like bird feet are like pretty much bone aren't they like they can stand in frozen water and shit also known as ice they'll be all right what is it frozen ice yeah it's this uh thing that we have sometimes here in london it's uh it's when oh jesus i really are we back in london huh yeah we're back at the old studio i thought we were in warsaw poland (laughs) no dude not since the incident. The w- World War Two. World War Two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not since the fucking Nazis blew the shit out of Poland. Back in Nazis. <sighs> I I see stuff saying it's basically like a thick fingernail. You're a thick finger. That'll do. It. <laughs> if a snake bites a thick fingernail, that's not a good move. Still. I feel like it wouldn't be super effective. That's for sure. So my aim is basically to pull Medusa off, off the Hellhound. You, to get you do to have time. You see it coming. Medusa and Hellhound have time to react, but not a lot of time. What would their be- reaction be to a bird woman flying at them at 114 miles per hour? You gotta get ready. You gotta dodge out of the last second, like you're the dog form of Naruto. And uh, <laughs> just, I mean, you get ready. I gotta be honest. I don't, form. Even, I don't even know if there is a dog form of Naruto. I doubt no. It. <laughs> what? So, Daruto. I think it's gotta see this thing at some point and just like dodge, and attack. Like you know, parry that thing. Parry. You gotta dodge at the last second, like Dark Souls taught me, and then you get a special attack. <laughs> Seriously though, if this thing is just diving, yeah, that's the only thing it can do. It's not gonna like run away. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't really have very many other attacks because the risk yeah, of, except for like hiding and turning into a human and touching one of them, the risk is too great. Get close up to change with the hellhound around because the hellhound would destroy the fuck out of. Hold it. on a second. You're diving right at us. What are you looking at? What do you mean? You. <laughs> Are you not looking at Medusa and the hellhound while you dive at it? I, I'm not looking in its eyes. There's snakes on its head. I mean, this is semantics the podcast at this point, but <laughs> like from however long it takes to fi- fly three minutes at 114 miles an hour periphery's got to come into account there a little bit, you know? Like, if we're looking at each other, 
they're probably going to get fucked. What? Why? But I know about the power of looking into its eyes. Like, Are why your would eyes I look... closed, though? No. Oh, yeah, I mean, because you, you look can where look you go. elsewhere. Look at her tits. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> we said it before. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, because like, she's on top of the hellhound, so there's obstruction of the hellhound, so the nearest thing to me is going to be the snake hair, and it's birds not, love snakes. It's not a man riding a, <laughs> <laughs> a centaur. It's a, it's a woman riding a dog. It's not that obstructed. <laughs> the dog is obstructed, yes. No, but... If when Medusa oh, leaves his body, by the dog. Oh, what? God, this is the stupidest fight we've ever. Had. I look at you, you die. Game over. Only if you make eye contact. Though. What say you, Adam? <laughs> what are the? What are we gonna use for eye contact on this? I feel like eye contact would not come into play at that distance. What about when she's like thirty feet away? What is that thing looking at? The snake. She is going for Medusa. I could. I could see the eyes slipping. Yeah, okay. Because that's what they always taught us in speech class. Like, look at the forehead. <laughs> you know? You don't have to look directly in people's eyes. It still counts, though. It's still looks like shoe it. when you need his <laughs> stupid ass? Dude, he was <laughs> the worst. Oh my god, I forgot about him. <laughs> Boy, if I anyway, don't want to hear about Scott Walker <laughs> fucking up. You know my know game? Too. My game is to rip apart Medusa's head by the snakes and pull her apart from the dog, the hellhound, and make them explode. Can I do that? Uh, do I? Am I good enough, strong enough, fast enough to do that without making play, eye contact? Dylan, is your play to look at her in the eyes? Yeah, and I think if she doesn't turn to stone when she's like 50 feet away, you gotta start, you know. You, you don't want to use the hellhound? I mean, what's he gonna do besides bite her when she gets right next to him? Like if He's you're super strong. Can't really do anything from midair. <laughs> right? He can jump. Not with Medusa on his back. Super strong. Man. I'm like putting limitations on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if the or there's a good chance that the eyes could slip if it's looking at the the snakes. So there's the possibility of getting turned to stone. And I feel that if it got close enough to start ripping out the hair, remember the hair is like two feet long. So I think it could get to other parts besides just the claws. I don't know if the harpy has two feet of claws. Yeah, they're big. They're not that big. It would just basically pull up like the snake and try to rip it off its head. But even if it rips it off, I don't know how much that does to Medusa necessarily. So yeah, it just hurt a little. Yeah. All so right. I think I think Medusa has a shot at winning that one. Yeah. This is another yeah. one. It sounds like that is kind of anything can really happen. Like any of these yeah, because they're not cool. real creatures. <laughs> it doesn't help that we can't like buy two of them each on the. The black market and pit them against each other in a ring. <laughs> right. Big John right McCain. Yeah. <laughs> With Big John McCain <laughs> refereeing. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it to the to the siren and the or not the siren. Oh, oh cousin the of the siren, siren by the way. Huh? Hmm? Uh oh, Harpy. Yeah. Cousin I, of I mean, the siren. That was kind of implied, right? No. It wasn't. all right we can wrap it up here what's we'll release our special episode of just dylan peen because he forgot to turn his microphone off you couldn't hear that (laughs) this mic isn't that good (laughs) clearly all i could hear was uh... what (laughs) you heard (laughs) that's what i heard (laughs) Oh my god. <laughs> you have shits well, what in... were you eating? The, the gabagool? <laughs> that would... I actually had some, some speaking pasta. Of, speaking of eating, I need some food. So we're going to wrap Jesus this up. <laughs> Alright. Alright, All right, today we learned about the harpy. 
We learned that the harpy is a giant bird kind of a woman. Bitch. Or it's kind of a bitch. <laughs> it's actually really a bitch. It It's either half bird, half woman, or a human that can turn into a bird demon. An attractive human. Like Hillary Clinton. An Quint. attractive human. Like, like Hiller, Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Are you drunk? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We heard it's a, or we learned about a, it being a major dick because it would just, if you touched food near it, it would just take the food and beat you up a little, just torture you horribly. No, it would just end. eat it in front of you. Like it's just. Or eat it in front of you too. Being a dickhead. It can fly 114 miles per hour apparently. And we told a tale about someone who got tortured by these until Jason and the Args came and killed them. J Bone and the Args. And we found out that, though it'd be close, Medusa riding a hellhound has the advantage, I think, in a battle against the harpy. What I should have done is swooped into, like, a big cliff where it couldn't see me, then turned human, then jumped on it. That would be a good move. Yeah. Nah, too bad you didn't think of that before. But then you got your human legs taking that fall. Yeah. You kind of screwed it away. <laughs> If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please swing by iTunes to leave a rating and review so that we can be seen by more people and become more popular. Keep watching become the, the best episodes on podcast. iTunes. <laughs> yes. You can send us positive vibes on Twitter at Myths and Men, and you can find us on Facebook at the Of Myths and Men podcast page. Hope to see you next week when we talk about something else. Find us on Zanga. Find me on DeviantArt at <laughs> Harpy Creator 01. <laughs> uh, what was that? Harpy Creator 01. Harpy, Harpy Creator, Creator 01. Yep. Find me on DeviantArt at Harpy Sexbot 5000. <laughs> what do you draw pictures of, guys? I usually draw pictures of anything besides Harpies. You know, the standard. <laughs> I do Breaking Bad fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy fanfic. Yeah. Or like Jesse and, and I uh, just the guy Mr. Gets H. Yeah. I just saw a a what picture of Badger and Jesse sixty nine the other day. Who? That was drawn. Badger. Badger, Badger was Badger. awesome. Who? The fuck what? is Badger? Badger, maybe he was the, he was Jesse's druggy <laughs> friend. I clearly did not watch that much Breaking you Bad. Rewatch Breaking Bad. The music you heard on this podcast is called Call to Adventure by Kevin MacLeod from Incompetech.com. It is licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0 License. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Why not? I was, in a freaking, I was in a genocide. I could say whatever the hell I want. Others can say it. Come at me, bro. Bring it. <laughs>